Franny K. Stein, math scientist, the Fran with four brains. Chapter One, Franny's House. The case, the Stein family lived in a pretty pink house with lovely purple shutters down at the end of Daft Doyle Street. <clears throat> Everything about the house was bright and cheery. Everything that is, except the upstairs bedroom with the tiny round window. The window looked on a in on a bedroom where the busiest mad scientist in the earth was working way to keep all of her projects and experience to. Schedule. She was a colony of bearded slugs that needed to be shaved each morning. She and her giant cantipede that needed help with her shoes every day. <clears throat> She had her own breed of joy, soy that planned to milk the daily. Franny's lab projects were a lot of work, but Franny truly loved math science, so she never minded putting the in the time. Chapter two, Franny's school. Franny also liked school. <clears throat> Her teacher Miss Shelley was great, and she always kept the kids be busy with lots of challenging projects. Already this year, that year, they had. Spent the time studying dinosaurs, poet, poetry, and some ancient Egypt, which Franny really enjoyed. With though the extra credit project ate a contagion. Miss Shelley later made Franny unzip the mummy and release the condition. Unharmed, although Franny protested that and said they everybody knows mummies eat people. Everyone's while that contagious should know better than to get close. Great teachers like Miss Shelley keep always keep a. No pressure on, and every day after school, Franny had to make time for her homework. Some days it was easy, like when it was about electricity or organs or strange terminal reactions. Some days it was hard, like when it was not about monsters or atomic retortion, like or electronic brains. But no matter how it took long it took, Franny also had to make time to play with her lab assistant Igor. He wasn't a pure lab. He was also part of Poodle, part Kiana, Perpago, Beagle, part Spinkle, part Shepherd, and part some kind of wizardly thing that isn't even actually a dog. Franny had learned not paying enough attention to Igor. It was dangerous. When he got too lonely, he tended to misbehave. And Igor knew when Franny needed attention. He was really good sen at sensing when her schedule was always getting too tight. He was always trying to figure out what he was always to figure out. Ways to make her laugh. Sometimes even juggling chainsaws. So sometimes it was alligator juggling chain ch chainsaws. Sometimes an alligator wrestling. Sometimes wrestling alligators with chainsaws. Recently, he started dressing up like Franny and. <clears throat> emitting, emitting her, and that would 
<clears throat> always make Franny laugh so hard she hardly breathed. Out always, that is, except when Franny felt well that a, a dungeon load of her extra activities. Chapter 3 Getting Weaker and by the Week. Franny's mom always drove her to the weekly extra activities. One day a week was soccer, another day was gourmet cook, cooking. And then another day was a back pie lesson. Franny liked, liked the extra activities, but sometimes she felt they were a bit too much. Sometimes it was a mood just to hang, hang around her lab doing regular kid things and like playing with her toys or reading books. Or bringing a monster life, though. <clears throat> a pic a location of joyless ele of electricity. But her mom wanted Franny to have opportunity to do the best she could be and try new things and learn about stuff they might not be teaching at school. Franny's mom had told her it was important to do her best and always certif for excellence. Franny understood that her mom was right, and she worked as hard as she could do very, be excellent, even when it made her very, very tired. Chapter 4. Wound Too Tight One day, Franny wa walked up to the stairs to room after a long day af at school followed by back pop lessons. She had lots of homework ahead of her and knew she had forgotten to take care of some of the lap stuff earlier that morning. Her thoughts were scattered. <clears throat> She was thinking about everything all at once. She went over to Candipide's cage and milked it. And she shaved the soy plant and put shoes, thing, put shoes on its lugs. She gave a monster bow of a dog food and was trapped. Just preparing to run the giant bowls of electricity. Preparing to run a giant bowls of electricity, though Igor, Igor, before she realized that she had gotten everything all mixed up. Oh no, she groaned. It's too much, she said. That kind of electricity will try to fry you like a potato chip, Igor. I'm wound up too tight to think clearly. I have to talk to Mom. The next day, Franny told her mom about the mix-ups in the laboratory. Igor could have been vaporized. The soy plant mad because it was really vaporized. The soy plant is mad sign. The map because it was really trying to grow a mustache. Uh, slugs more after me to. them to feed with their new shoes and who in their right mind is ever going to drink two galatians beside milk. Yeah. 
Mom, do you think all happened because I'm so busy? You think it would be okay if I took some break at, from the backseat lessons for a while? But Franny, her mom said, how else we, will you learn? That pipe is so beautiful instrument, and the te and music teaches yourself your self control and how to perform the confidence. Okay, Franny said with a sigh. Then how about skip the German cooking class? Oh, Franny, her mom said. German cooking cheese teaches you how to follow directions and thinking of electronic. Recipe so stimulates your imagination. Okay, okay. How how about if I drop soccer? Oh, I really don't think I need this soccer, don't you? Franny supports teach you about teamwork. You should how know how to sacrifice your the others. And how to rarely others as well. That's it means to be apart from a team. And since you do so many of your experiments by yourself, you need probably learn to teamwork more than nobody anybody else. You must strive for the excellence, Franny. You know that. Franny smiled. A thought occurred to her. A mad science type thought. That was something about the word teamwork. Yes, teamwork. She said. Maybe Mom had something there. Chapter five. Going out for the tea. Franny went outside and gathered up some scrap steel from the backyard. Igor watched as Franny began sketching out plans for some sort of new machines. They'll need to double Igor. Mom can you really keep the pressure on. So these can be extra, extra strong. Igor, who had an idea, no idea what she was talking about, nodded. He knew exactly what she was talking about. And they needed to be smart. I have to make sure the brains are set up to follow instruments carefully. Igor gathered up a selection of brains from the brain cabinet and brought them to Franny. The brain cabinet was, was, and brought them to Franny. Thanks, Igor. But I think I'm gonna go with electronic brains on this project. These machines need to look good, but they don't have to be perfect. Mom can be moving so quickly that she doesn't always know the details. I remember one time he, she took me to soccer while I was sin, still under the effect of the mermaid formula I developed. I played for two hours, and she never noticed I, I didn't even have legs. It won't be hard to make them good enough to fool mom. Franny quickly made few collections and diagrammed some of the special creatures. Creatures she would need to engineer them. She wished the plans of her drawings board and tapped them up in the wall.
She turned to Igor and grinned her mad scientist grin. Outside, laughing crackled as Franny laughed. She loved it when it when lightning cracked just before it relayed a plan. <clears throat> Igor, she said, "Behold the fanbots." Chapter six: Making herself at home. Franny humbled cheerfully as she made dream magical copies of herself. She thought the this plan, though carefully, was curtailing the answer to her, all of her problems. Pretty clever, don't you think so, Igor? She said as Igor watched with growling concern. She <clears throat> he had learned that one Franny was always a lot of Franny. He wasn't sure if four of them was a good idea. Igor started remembering of some Franny's robots that refused crossed fr- trouble in the past. These fan bots are going to tangle up those extra activities that Mom has lined up. They will, they'll take the backpipes, backpipe lessons. They'll learn German cooking and they'll play soccer. They'll do it all for me. What I will wonder if he and Franny could make. Also, make a few Igor bots for some of his stores. These machines will give me more time to do my homework and my experiments, and they may give them some extra to spend with lawyer lab science assistant. She winked at Igor. It was. <clears throat> That was all Igor needed to hear. Anything to give him more time with Franny. It had to be a good idea. He worked extra hard to help her complete the fan bots quickly. Chapter seven. Me, myself, and a、uh, I and a、uh, one more me. Franny tightened a screw, few screws here and there, and fan. Friend bots are finally complete. She wound them up as tightly as she could, as tight they would go, and they flipped off the few switches. They were fully activated, and the friend bots stood quietly, awaiting their instru- instructions. Friend bot number one, Franny began. Your insides engineered to be particularly good at playing the bagpipe. You'll be handling the music lessons. The friend bot stumped the steel chest. Yes, Franny. The friend bot, the robot, said in a voice that sounded a lot of like Franny's. Friend bot number two, you will be the soccer player. You'll notice your legs have been designed for intro, powerful kicking, and have and have been designed for extremely powerful kicking. The frown bot flexed its power limbs. Yes, Franny, the robot said it.、Mm, that also sounded a lot like Franny's. And Franny number three. You will offend the garment kicking class. You have been out kicked for a special fed 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 ray that will make you easy to create your vi vi virus. Recipes in a flash. The frown bot looks in the Franny Ray blaster. It could flip its wrist. Yes, Franny said. The last frown bot, in the voice, sounded a lot like you guessed it, Franny's. The 
Mom expects a lot of coming of all from all of you. So remember, you must always do your best to survive the excellent. That is what the important here. Excellence. The fram bots beeped as they were taking very careful notes of their instructions. Excellence, they said together, and they nodded avoidly. Chapter 8. You see, I told you nothing could go wrong. Two weeks later, Franny was feeling a lot more relaxed. The Frambots had been performing brilliant, brilliantly, and the soccer coach, cooking instructor, and baggy p- backpipe teacher hadn't noticed they were just machines. In fact, they did so well on extra activities that Franny had even started letting them take their place at school. Nobody at school could tell they were robots either, and they were getting grades almost as good as the ones Franny usually got. Franny now had some more, more time for her new projects, like teaching a monkey to use a monkey wrench, a hammerlet shark to use a hammer, and a mouse with a to use a mouse. Igor was delighted to have Franny home every day. The frown bots seemed to be Jenny. Annoying their tasks. Sure, they might have been taking them two bits too seriously. That's what Franny had almost told them. They, she had nothing more than important than excellence. They were following their entrant instructions. This, it was perfect. Franny thought. Except, Franny noticed that it might not have been perfect for a mom. The Fram bots moved much more quickly than Franny, and her mom often ran to keep up. The Fram bots were so determined to achieve excellence they, that they often stayed longer at soccer or practice or cooking class. They were begging to extra credit out projects at school. And mom was staying up late at night to help complete it all. Mom was running herself ragged, trying to get the frambots to their activities and helping them to keep up with their extra work. Franny wondered if me, if maybe Mom would like some time to relax and just wind to some regular Mom things instead of always running around. Maybe it's time to reprogram that's these fram bots, she said to Igor. Maybe they need just to stall, slow down a little. Chapter nine, but we don't want to. Franny gathered the frambots together. You are doing a great job, she told to them. But I think we can do better. The frambots bet, smiled. We're thinking the exact same thing, one of them said. We want more projects. We, we can be more excellent. We found other places to teach all sorts of spectacular classes. One of them handed Franny a borchor. You select the things, each column that makes your own activity. You can attend three days a week for ten years until you 
really learned it. We can do it. We can do them all. We are going to be so excellent. Granny looked at the chart. Underwater. Medivale. Blindfolded. High speed. Extrem. French. Two person. Barefoot. One handed. Nighttime. I will. Grandma. Sofa. Costume. Diaper. Painting. Clicking. Wrestling. Juggling. Slapping. Well, I have to admit, Franny said, under one hand, jug diaper juggling does sound fascinating, but the pace is already too much for Mom. She can't keep up with you now, and the harder you, on her if you add a bunch of new activities. No more new classes tomorrow. We'll change the programming to end slowing down, she told them. The friend boss frowned. Look, I don't know. I know you don't like it, but how it's going to be, we can't get carried away here. Chapter 10. They carried away here. I were quietly jolted Franny awake. Franny groaned. What time is it, Igor? The monster under your bed? I've told you a million times. We have monsters under our beds. The lab is full of monsters under our beds. The th now go back to sleep. Igor shook his head. Shook Franny harder and harder until she finally woke up. What is it? She said angrily. Igor pointed at the frambots. They were over a little one corner at the lab. Going over in a sort of plan. Franny slid in the bed. Two of them crept on the enough to overhear. Franny was getting away from the purse shirt of excellence. One of them said, We need to be excellent. The frambots no, nodded in agreement. So she must be nut trials, my gulped. And then we neutralize mom. It's just like Franny said. Mom can't keep up with us. She's getting in her way to an excellence. Nothing is more important than excellence, they all said each other. And we'll take care of our her dad and her brother. And that weasel dog she calls Igor. Igor knew he would have been insulted, but kind like the weasels. And after that, we will go after the rest of the world. The world and our world could get on our way excellence as well. Frambot number two flashed the robot eyes. Is everything prepared for the naturalizations? It asked. <clears throat> Almost. The stram Frambot number three said, Frambot number three, I will be using my excellent cooking skills. I hope they will both enjoy them. Cooking skills, Franya said. <clears throat> Are they going to eat us? Chapter 11. Can I make a sandwich? Igor ran and got Franny one of her best, best smashers. This won't work, Igor. And I made the frambots too strong to, to be smashed to bits. Igor ran and got her screwdriver. Good thinking, Igor. But I can't just disassemble them. The three of them work together. They easily <clears throat> overpower me. Before I twisted, untwisted the first screw. <clears throat> I go ran the suitcase and got some brooches of some nice vacation designs. We can just run away, Igor. They will get mom. 
and they'll get my family, and they'll get the whole world. And they, they heard the frambox preparing to come after them. <clears throat> it, it's time. Let's take care of Franny, one of them hissed. Suddenly, Igor ran off. Igor, you coward! I guess you... I guess it's all up to me. Franny whispered, wishing that she talked to Igor something about teamwork. But as long as Igor vanished, he returned with doing his best in person, and although it wasn't perfect, <clears throat> it was enough to fool the fram box. There she is, one of them yelled, and choosing a selection of random <sighs> of huge memory bank of recipes. Rambot number three blasted Igor with a foot ray. Franny watched it as horror if they picked up what left of Igor and put in the little bag. The Rambot has transformed him into a tuna fish sandwich. Igor scrapped himself to save me, Fran said. Maybe I, maybe, I guess, maybe I teach him. I did teach him something about teamwork. Soon as they lunch him, delicious, the friend, friend bots cheered. Let's do it right now, one of them yelled. No, we must practice our skills. Nothing is more important. <clears throat> they all agreed in doing better, better idea. They went to separate ways to practice. <clears throat> practice their our skills. Nothing is more important. They all agreed, <clears throat> and that was a better idea. They went to separate. Ways to practice their bagpipes, <laughs> sock, <sighs> practice their bagpipes, soccer, and gorsman cooking before they destroyed the world and tried turned every everybody to the tuna fish sandwiches. How can how can I stop them? Fanny whispered to herself. She knew it was all up to her. Franny looked over the astonishment of Magdal swords she had collected. She wondered if she could <clears throat> at least damage the Rambots badly enough to help her family escape. But then poor little Igor will have to live the his rest of his life as the tuna fish sandwich and and the friend bots will immediately destroy the whole world away anyway no matter how far franny and her family ran no she would need something <clears throat> mightier than a sword chapter 12 yeah, but what's the miter but then a sword? I know, Franny said. She picked up the pen. She quickly drew a sprue in her chest and lines over her sleeves and look took a look at the frambots <clears throat> segmented alarms and legs. She drew sprues on her face and stood as stiffly as she could. I hope this works, she, she whispered. <clears throat> Franny knew if that her performance showed any lack of confidence, the frambox <clears throat> would see right through her designs. The frambots were scattered all over the lab, busy practicing over their various <clears throat> excellent skills. Franny walked right up to frambot number one. He was playing the back spice. In the most metro voice she could fake, she said, practicing the rectal 
tomorrow, how are you? The frown box looked up. Retickle, she, re she repeated. Totally fooled by Franny's drawn screws and assignment. <clears throat> That's right, Franny said. <clears throat> Retickle. Everyone will be there. Everyone will be watching. Everybody will be judging your performance to be seen the excellent or not. Frambot number one looked worried. How do you think I'll do? She said. Fanny shook her head sadly. <clears throat> Ever age. The other players can play much old, older, louder, and the notes much longer. But... I must be excellent, the friend he, the friend bot whispered. I've also got, heard that several of them can hit the high J note, Granny added. There's no such thing as a J note, the friend bot scoffed. This musical scale doesn't go up to J. J, maybe your scale doesn't, but don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be okay. It wasn't good enough for Frambot number one. It was divine the excellent. And now, exactly what planned to be. The tournament to hit the impossibility high notes that Franny had made up. It gathered all of the, his breath and steel lips, the mouthpiece and the backpipe. And blew all the guts right off the back. <clears throat> now that it caved. It fell over with the heavy clank, and Franny Huffle hurried off to find Frambot number two. <sighs> Chapter 13 <clears throat> Your head is on the game. The next Frambot was reading a book about soccer. Franny used her magical voice again. I guess you're st up stirred studying for the game tomorrow, she said. From that, number two looked up. What game, she said, and said. I didn't hear about the game. You sure did. The coach said it's going to be a power game. It would be all about kicking hard. But don't worry too much. You're, you're not the worst player on team. Wait a second. I was the best player on the team, she said. Maybe you could be, Franny said, if you could kick a little bit harder. Frambot number two threw the book. <clears throat> I can kick harder than anybody on the team. I can kick harder than anybody on the world, she it said. Just began practicing virusly par powerful kicks. Franny watched a moment. Is that as high as you can kick, she said. This isn't high enough, the Frambot huffed. I guess it's okay. Some of the players can kick much higher. And I suppose this is pretty good for you. How can they kick? One of them kick herself one of the face, she said. She's excellent. <clears throat> oh yeah, the Frambot shouted, unable to accept the idea of being the best kicker in the team. Smash! The determined to prove to how excellent it was. Frambot number two drew its <clears throat> leg away and kicked itself with the devastating force right its own face. <clears throat> if you are a Frambot, <clears throat> turns out one of your best ways to be a head of clean off. The damaged Franny Fra Grandma fell over the heavy clunk. Two down, Franny said, and <clears throat> Michangli turned to the third grandma, but to her surprise, she discovered it was standing directly behind her. <clears throat> Chapter 14, Recipe Destruction. The third grandma squaw scowled at Franny. Franny! Used her robot voice. Oh, hello! You're looking very magical today. You can't stop. You can't stop. 
pretending. I know you're not like robots, the Franny. The frambot said, pointing its foot ray directly at Franny. And I know you're destroying the other frambots. I suppose you're the you're gonna blast me with your foot ray now, Franny said, doing her. Best to try think of a way to do this. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It said, and I'll get your mom, dad, brother, and everybody else gets in my way of my excellence. Suddenly, a thought occurred the Fran to Franny, and she smiled. Well then, Franny said, blasting, blast away, please, but please make sure you make me into something boring like you did to Igwa. Don't be anything like too exciting. I don't want to be a young more food. Friend bot number three and aimed the fruit ray at Franny. Okay. One tuna fish sandwich coming right up, she, it said. But the hypnotized lowered its food blaster. Wait a second, it said. What's wrong with the, a fish sandwich? It held the Sandwich to the to be a Igor and Hammerhead Sharks tank. Look, the shark seems to want it. Franny swallowed quickly. One slipped after Frambot would free feed Igor to the shark. She sunboard all to her confidence and imagination. Nothing is wrong with the tuna fish sandwiches. It's not. <clears throat> the dish you would expect from somebody that learning for a government to cook. But it's fine with me. Remember, I don't want to be a government food anyway. By the way, the friend bot looked ang angry. I'll go. You'll be whatever you want to be. She shouted. How tell me what you want a truly government dish? Hmm, Fanny shouted. Let me think. How about baked unicorn with onion rings? Can you make that? The fanbots three searched its computer brain. <clears throat> no, it said. I can't. Okay, okay. How about roast sea monster with french fries? I'm sure you can make that, the fanbot thought. I haven't learned to make that one either. She, it said unhappily and said the sandwich. To use the Igor to turn into edge of the shark tank. I guess you, you'll just have to make me a, another tuna fish sandwich, Franny said. No, name another extorted recipe. Tell me right now, it said angrily. I can't think of any other easy ones, Franny said. And if you can't make me into a baked unicorn. I'm sure you you can't make me into something simple as raw weasel dog with monkey wrenches. Don't be stupid, it said. You don't I don't even know what I could find a weasel dog, Franny waited. She had built this frown bot ran bot robot brain and she knew how it just worked. Wait a second, she said. Yes, I think I can make it. I do have an ugly whistle dog, and it jerked to tuna fish sandwich <clears throat> out of the way and suck seconds before the shark snapped it. From bot number three, who put the sandwich on her plate as the activity is pushed It's food ray blaster in the crackle of flash of light. And Franny saw a sweet sandwich changing into back, very confused, slightly tender looking Igor. The frambot artfully arranged a few monkey wrenches around him and played proudly shows it to Franny. How's this? she said. Raw weasel dog in a monkey wrenches. 
Now, that's some pretty excellent government cooking, don't you say? If only you have some pickles to go with it, Benny said. And the robot quickly plopped the green pickle down of the plate to Igor. Benny smiled. Perfect, she said, winking at Igor, who was stopped licking with leftover manian rice off a paw and quietly picked up the side of item. Chapter 15, which is why you sh should always, always, always get on pickle on the side. Now, Franny shouted, and Igor stuffed the pickle on the payroll of the cooked ray blaster. Franny grabbed one of the monkey blaster wrenches and pounced onto the Frambot. No, Franny bot screamed. Don't wreck my possession. Franny would not have been able to handle Frambot by herself, but angrily, the little girl, mad scientist, and a weasel dog both alarmed the monkey wrenches and threw enough the overpower Frambot, especially one that was totally observed with the government cooking. A few minutes turned to the wrenches and the devastated Frambot fell into pieces on the floor. Franny sat down and sighed. That was close, she said, she, and patted Igor, who was ready to eat in Pico. She, he had retained from the barrel of Fred, Fred Ray Blaster. Chapter 16 Great Brains Think Alike The next day after school, Franny found her mom slumped on the couch. Exhausted, mom, she said. We need to talk. Wait, Franny, she said. Let me go first. I'm afraid that all things we we do are just too much sometimes. We are wearing me out, and I'll bet wearing you out too. Franny nodded. Maybe, I think maybe we won't have some excellent and everything. I think we have to pick up some couple of things. We should try to pick things you really truly enjoy. <clears throat> and maybe sometimes we could... Just do nothing. Franny nodded again. She was. She hardly believed it. But she and her mom became the exact same collusion. <clears throat> because her mom said, I'm, I'm afraid that sometimes when will Franny's get rounded up too tight, my <clears throat> myself distract. Her mom had no idea what she was about that. The two of them settled on the couch and did nothing together for a while, and some more nothing, and a little more nothing after that. And they laughed, talked and laughed, and it was even long before they discovered that it was a kind of excellence that totally striving for.